makes a different vowel sound. And when, when you say it, an E, why, why did that sound different than E or A uh, or O? Oh? What's actually making the different sound for the lips? So the lips are involved, yeah, and the tongue are involved, yeah. But why, why does that happen? Why does changing the shape of your lips or the tongue, what was it, articulation? Uh, not so much the vowel sound. I mean, the articulators would help with things like k or t or ul or b or d. But the actual vowel color, how does that happen? You change the shape of your mouth and it goes from e to o. Why? What actually creates the different sound? Yeah, you're on, you're on the right track. You're on the right track. It, it has to do with overtones. It has to do with overtones. And you know, uh, at, when we hear a, a, a musical note, we all we usually think that we're just hearing the one note, right? Uh, in fact, we hear a combination of notes, and it, it's the overtone series. And so, if I play this C, the first overtone is an octave above that C, and then the next overtone is a fifth above that. Note. And then the next overtone is a third above that, and then the next overtone is a minor third above that, and then we have another minor third, and then it comes to a five uh, half steps up from there. Uh, of course, it's not exactly what you hear on the piano, because the piano is kind of compromised from the natural overtone system. It's called equal temperament, and it allows the piano to play in any key, more or less in tune, but not perfectly in tune. So, Oh, no, not that. 